Well, episode one of Pokemon Go Master Quest on DX1, the series, is now underway. And we have a couple of things to talk about. But since I'm already what, almost a year into Pokemon Go, and I'm pretty sure the audience that I'm trying to target already knows what's going on. So I'm really not going to go through the entire intro, but let's just log right into the app and just see where we're at and see where the game is going and see where I want to go with the game and just go with a little bit of a description of what this channel is going to offer. So first things first, let's slow up the app if it will load. If it will load. All right. Awesome. All right. So, and Blissey came back, brought back 18 coins. Okay. I'll deal with that. So, this is where I currently stand as I start this YouTube channel. Level 37. And my badges are as follows. Kanto Region, 142. 16,320 Pokemon caught. 730 Pokemon evolved, looking to up that number. 1,009 eggs hatched. Okay, 12,958 Pokestops spun. And for the Johto Pokedex, I have 78, but I have a lot of Johto region evolutions coming up in future videos, so stick around for that. My Jogger badge, really close to completing that. 895.1 out of 1,000. That's one I've been working on for quite a while now. And 209 gym battles. I'm not even sure if these battles, battle um, badges are even relevant anymore. I defended gyms for about 100 hours. And funny thing is, I've been on vacations and been going on trips when the gym rework first dropped. So, unfortunately, I haven't really been able to get out there. But in a couple of weeks, I should have a great roster for gym raiding, gym battling, and all that good stuff. So, Ace Trainer doesn't, it's not relevant anymore. I've won only 10 raids, but they've been, been pretty good. Able to get some good Pokemon out of those. And the one unknown that I risked my life to catch, that's gonna be a good story. So, badges, all right. 2,924, almost 3,000 normal types caught. Fighting types, 310. Flying types, 2,235. Poison types caught 2,464. I really, that's surprising. I thought I caught less poison types, to be quite honest with you. Rock types. Actually, no, this is a ground type. I apologize. 1,520. Now for rock, 823. Bug types, 1,360. Ghost types, 218. Steel types, 342. Fire types, 1,286. Water type, 6,850. That's a lot. All right, grass types, 1,303. Electro types, 853. Psychic types, 1,240. Ice types, 221. I just got my badge for that one. Dark types, 309. Fairy types, 717. And the last badge that I have yet to gain, dragon types, 178 out of 200 is where I currently stand with the badges. And... 10 million plus XP gain, and I've started, of course. Oh, let me confirm my start date because that's pretty critical. Uh, my start date, ha, July 6th. So, when the game first dropped, with when I, of course, made my debut. Let's catch this century, see if I can snag some XP real quick, and quickly talk about what's going to go down with this YouTube channel. Great throw. So, this is going to be a northeastern based Pokemon Go channel. So, for any of you guys that live in the Philadelphia area, New Jersey, New York City, Maryland, Washington DC, Virginia, and if you do live in those areas, please leave a comment or tweet me at dx one trees because I'd love to meet all of you guys and play some Pokemon Go together. But, that fly, really? Alright, but, continuing on, that's basically what this channel is going to be about because there isn't really a lot of Northeastern representation for Pokemon Go. If you really pay attention to where the other Pokemon Go YouTubers live, it's basically Los Angeles. Um, you know, Ben Tim One is in, he's in Wisconsin. But you're basically looking at Southern California for most Pokemon Go YouTubers. There isn't really a lot of, like, look, 
there isn't a lot of northeastern representation for Pokemon Go. So I'm really looking forward to bringing um, a northeastern experience to YouTube and, you know, just to let the world know that, hey, Pokemon Go is just as good out here in Jersey. Caught the Eevee right here. Let me catch this Eevee. What's he at? 676. Oh, wow, that's strong. All right, we're going to go for Raz. He may have good IVs. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. On uh, his circle so small, but we managed to get the great throw anyway. So, I'm really excited to bring a Northeastern experience to Pokemon Go. And there's going to be a lot of different places I'm going to be able to go because now at this point where the game is, there's so much to do. Especially for me, living about 30 minutes away from Philadelphia. I live in southern New Jersey. And so being 30 minutes from Philadelphia, I can either hunt for rare spawns, I can grind for experience points in Stardust. I currently stand at, I believe, 1.5 million Stardust. 1.5. I'm going for 2 million Stardust. Once I hit 2 million Stardust, I'm going to go for a lot of evolutions to power up my Poke and also a lot of power ups. Also, a lot of power ups as well for my Pokemon. So, this is where my squad currently stands. My high CP Pokemon is my Dragonite. I hate this glitch. I really hope they fix that, but. 3,229 CP Dragonite, and my Blissey at 2705, I'm looking to get her to 2,999 because with the current, the current state of the meta, it's better to have Pokemon under 3,000 for defending gyms rather than attacking. Attacking, you want as high CP as you can possibly get for, but for defending gyms, you don't want to have your Pokemon over 3,000 CP, so I'm going to look for... A lot of the Pokemon that I labeled for IVs. So I'm gonna go towards the number. Where are they? Where are my labeled Pokemon? All right, so here's my 93 percentile Onyx, 559 CP. He's gonna be an awesome Steelix to evolve. And that's just a quick example of all the Pokemon I have saved up for this YouTube channel that I'm really looking forward to doing some evolution videos. But I'm telling you, the adventures that we're gonna be going on for this channel are going to be so, they're going to be so sick because I have my local parks that I get to go to. I have my local parks that I go to. I have a lot of places that I like to go to on the Silk Road. And I also like to go in the city of Philadelphia and do a lot of awesome hunting there. So again, this is just the first video, a quick introduction on what's going to be going down for this channel and what to look forward to in the future. <laughs> looking at all my Porygons going down there. And here's a quick example. My 91% Snorlax, my 93% Snorlax, my 96% Snorlax. Those will most likely be attackers or defenders, depending on how their moves they have And on how many. Oh, look at that. The wind literally just knocked that down. Uh, and he's gonna have and he's gonna have some problems. That's my neighbor. Well, would you look at that? I try to show you guys something cool and my camera falls over and nearly fell off my rooftop as you can see right here. I am on top of my roof. As you can see the awesome view going on right here. So yeah, things happen to YouTubers, I guess. But continuing on, we're gonna look at my two 98 percentile Dratinis that I'm really stoked on evolving. So there's a lot of stuff that I have just saved up for awesome evolution videos as well as the adventures that we're going to be going on. This is going to be a master quest to get me from level 37 to 40. So I'm really looking forward to sharing the rest of my Pokemon Go journey with you guys because I want this project to be a collaborative channel. I want there to be a lot of interaction. I want there to be a lot of, um, a lot of comments, a lot of tweets towards me at DX1 Tweets. I'll leave my Twitter in the description below. I'll leave the Instagram that I also use post on a daily basis on, in the description below. So I'm just really looking forward to sharing my Pokemon Go journey with all you guys and for you guys to show me like where your Pokemon Go journey is going. Like how are you guys doing? What Pokemon are you looking forward to getting? What Pokemon are you looking forward to in Generation 3? What are you looking forward to the future of Pokemon Go? There's so many things that we're going to discover and so many things that we're going to come across with the future of Pokemon Go. So I'm really, really, really stoked to get things going. So, you know what? Without further ado, let's get into this. There's going to be more videos coming within the next couple of days. Now, I do 
have a schedule that doesn't allow me to get a video out there every single day, but I, minus my 40 hour work schedule and other personal obligations that I have, I should have a video up at least once every couple of days. So expect three videos a week from the Pokemon Go Master Quest series on DX1. And you know, let's get the ball rolling, guys. Let's get into this. So don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, more videos. Get ready for them. They're coming.